Hey guys, Sarge here with the May 22nd, 1942 combat replay for my 1v1 against Invictus on War of the Pacific Admirals Edition. Uh, not entirely too sure what's going to go on here today. Japan occupies Derby. I think that was by proximity, as it wasn't the battle for it, so it had to have been proximity capture. Sweeping more mines at Midway. I think I'm going to move battleships. Start moving the battleships in. Yes, WTAC off of truck. Nothing happens there. Yes, WTAC at Pago Pago in shallow water. And we do get two hits. Nice. I did send, uh, I think it was like three ASW patrols out, hopefully able to find some stuff. I am going to just, it's not going to do much damage at all. I'm probably going to have to move a couple heavy cruisers in to start actually dealing any damage. But it's mostly about disruption, really. Make sure he can't actually attack how many mines did he put at midway air am phase Dang, search Catalina destroyed by Cap. What does he have? Oh, shit. Darwin. What does he have at Bangkok? That's always has eight ships. He's sweeping from Copang with 23 Oscars. I have Kitty Hucks and Buffaloes. Carbone's paying attention. Who's, who's diving on who? Lose a Kitty Hawk. That's first blood. Get an Oscar, the 1C Oscar, his best Oscar variant that he has currently. I'm not sure if there's better variants. There may be a 2C. Not sure. We'll get another Oscar there. Alright, so he is diving on me. I am going to speed ahead here. Ah, uh, doing all did all right. Not the best pilots. He's sweeping at 20,000 at extended. Why is he sweeping at extended range? Aircraft sighted over Pearl Harbor, my ass, dude. What? And then additional three Oscars come sweeping. There's so other thing. What I heard correctly is, yeah, so Kitty Hawks were at 27,000. No, Kitty Hawks was at 16,000. Buffaloes were at 10,000. But they were scrambled between 22 and 27. Bombing Chick Yang. And Bandawang. Typical. Every turn attacks going on. Here's mine. 
getting a taking a lot of bombing bomber damage. Not very good results. Very unfortunate. Probably do a deep dive into the pilots of my frontline squadrons over the next few days. Cause I'd rather not spend multiple hours going through pilots in the same sitting. Oh, accidentally skipped through sighting reports. Air PM face he's sweeping Port Moresby again. I may surge planes to Port Moresby and, and go after him again. Haven't haven't completely decided yet. So I can put about sixty planes in there right now. Actually now that I know his carriers don't exist at all, especially in that area, I can move planes from some other ports. That could only be really God damn it. Want two hits, two belt pens. <laughs> his subs have done more damage to my battleships than his fucking surface com surface combatants did, dude. Oh my god. One one hex away from getting to safety. One. Oh, good grief. Come on. Daily bombardments. Unfortunately, there's no way for me to actually go faster through these long bombardments. 21 casualties to 121 casualties. No... Actual squads destroyed. Bombarding at Changte. I take seven casualties. And a deliberate attack at Bandoing, actually. So let's see how this goes. Let's see. Ooh, yeah. He didn't take as much damage as I hoped. But he, those did go down a little bit. So his engineers reduced it to two, so he attacked against level two. He took 2,000 casualties, 48 squads destroyed, two engineers, two guns, and a vehicle. An additional 329 squads disabled, 34 engineers, 49 guns, and eight vehicles. His first attack was a lot more destroyed than disabled. This one is mostly disabled. Uh, I take 628. Eight squads destroyed and two guns. Forty-two squads disabled. Four engineers and sixteen guns. Still a really good result here. Probably gonna take another three, three attacks or so. How many did he? Yeah, he also assaulted with thirteen hundred thirty-seven. Uh, shock attack. Is he gonna beat me this time? He does. Unsurprisingly, just oh, it was only it was only non-coms too. Unsurprising, but I have a British brigade coming down the road or path, I guess. Here's my bombardment. He takes 118 casualties, three squads destroyed, an engineer, and two vehicles. I take 161 casualties, four squads, two not two non-coms, and two vehicles. That sucked. Shock attack at Wyndham. He pair dropped Wyndham, and I can already see here he pair dropped this base, uh, which is New Canba. That's gonna make defending Australia a bit more interesting. All those fortifications were non-factors for the war. 
in general, but they do slightly affect VPs. Which is why I'm doing it. Get an AK. Railroaded those guys. Railroaded these guys. That's another 60 or so fighters. Yeah, like 65 fighters. I'll be able to shove into Rangoon when I need to. I definitely need to go through those pilots. Because those are not good pilots. At all. So let's just check out here. He still does have mines. I did, okay, I did start moving them in. Got it. Uh, Intel reports. I lose 17, he loses 23. Relatively even in the skies over... In the skies over... Shit. Darwin, there we go. 10 to 11. He lost 7 to Flack today. That's That's a lot. So he lost 16 Oscar 1Cs. I lost 5 Buffaloes. No, sorry. In total, he lost 18 Oscar 1Cs. I lose 8 Buffaloes and 5 Kitty Hawks. And then he lost 4 Dinas to Flak. He lost 6 Recon Planes to just Flak, and then 7 in total today. How is he losing so many of his Scout Planes? It's crazy. Moving east at nine knots. So that's got to be damaged. One oh six, one twenty five. So in in the hex of her ball, they're heading east, right into land. Got it. Oh, we got an ace. We got an ace in Australia. An unfortunate number of ops losses. He expands her ball's port to size 5. Okay, what is the damage on the Nevada? 62. So it's very similar to the Oklahoma and the West Virginia. We're both going to get... They're going to get to Pago Pago. And where did all the destroyers go? They all just immediately just disbanded their... Their patrol. Cool. Oh, I did make one misplay. I was moving Catalinas. Uh, moving the Catalinas from Canton out of... Was it the ones at Canton? I'm not sure, but that made a bit of a, a little bit of a misplay. I put them in... Yeah, I put one of them in Numea. I put both of them in Numea. When the better option would have been put him in Pago Pago and slap him on ASW. Which I'm going to be changing that over. My AOs did get here so I'll be able to get fuel into the destroyers and just swarm the area with destroyers. And then here I got 68 P40s. Well, P4, that's many right now. I'll do another three, six, nine, twelve. An additional twelve, so eighty. One hundred and seven P forties. No, sorry, not one hundred seven because those are P thirty eights. So these pilots, half of them have good air XP. But the big issue is they don't have very good strafing. 
not strafing. They don't have very good defense. I learned this in Discord, in Yokin's Discord. Defense is also very important. So they don't have very good defense. But they do know they do know how to fly their plane. So I'll be switching a lot of these guys out with the pilots I have on the west on the west coast. Yeah. So you're getting there pretty quick. I need to at least get here before he does, and then Hopefully I can get to here so he has the shock attack across. Right, he'll be on his way down. A couple more days he'll be on his way down. So I'll probably end up... I don't have very many heavy cruisers though. I have four. I could probably... Could probably send a couple of those to Rangoon, as well as a couple more of the crappier light cruisers. The C and D class light cruisers are more than, are barely useful. The Mauritius is by far the best, because it's a Fiji class, by far the best non-American cruiser you get. And I also do have an American cruiser over here. But I'm not using this on bombardment duty. So I'll need to defend both sides. Because there's at least one unit heading to this hex. So if I do 600 and 600. And... I think that's times three. WR times three. So the 1800 adjusted should be all right. And I do see he's doing some shenanigans here. So I decided I was going to move more units. I was going to move both of these around. And then is this one of the American ones? Maybe. 30, 37. Let me just check. Because I know this one is Ameri is an American. No, this. Let's see. I want more artillery. I need the mortars and AT guns. That's great. I really want to see more machine gun sections. And field guns. Let's just see. Do I have 75? Do I have 75 millimeter? field guns in here. Yeah, so I have 33. So I have them in here. It's just the issue of getting is just that it's delayed. It's just they just keep saying it's delayed. Yeah, so they they can have 36 field guns, but they don't have they only have half that. I'm not worried about doing the upgrades to 105s. I just want the more machine guns. If I can do more, get the machine guns, they get the engineers and the howitzers, not howitzers, the field guns. I'm fine with with sending that into the fight. And then I have the I have this Chinese one, the Chinese American one that will sit in Burma. This one I'm leaving kind of on here so I can get the supply so not solely use the Chinese supply. I do need to find where all these are because I think there's four or five that get the American TOE but I only know where two of those are right now. That'll be an issue for another day I guess.
And it's over here. <coughs> That Australian unit has not gotten here yet. Hopefully one more day for the division to get to here. Then I'm going to move up here. I'm not sure how much I'm going to need because I'll have to defend two ways. Which is going to be difficult. I already have at least something at Catherine. I do have level three forts there. No, here is going to be difficult, but it's going to have a trouble supplying this just because it's crappy roads and it's going to be so far for them. I can probably send the lesser Australian units. Uh, I have to basically keep these guys here because these guys are just so weak and they can't have no staying power. Can send 19th Australian Battalion, can send the MG Battalion, and the Gulp Battalion. And I'm unfortunately unable to actually withdraw the Sparrow Battalion because there's enemies in the hex and it's a non owned base hex. So it treats it as an enemy hex. So I'll actually need to turn that off. And then turn it on on here. So this becomes the parent unit. And we'll take the. Take the squads. Check second reports. Don't see anything. Don't see anything else at the bottom there. Yeah, it's like the porpoise submarine is like in the hex. Yeah, like. So I need to disband you. I oh, seriously did. You did. You did take damage. Yeah. So you'll get into you'll get in the port and just start repairs. I'm well, probably going to take you a few days. Subs are moving up. Alright. Uh, at that, I am gonna, going to end the episode here, guys. So I'll see you in the next one.